Stephen, a point tonight, but it probably feels like a loss. I know you'll be disappointed that we didn't get the three points there. Yeah. Um, in the balance of the game, especially second half, I thought I thought we created a load of chances. Um, but look, we're playing against a team who are very proud, playing in front of their new manager. Um, they're obviously eager to impress. And they, they scrapped and fought, and they were very physical, worked really hard, uh, and stayed in the game. So... You know, our, our, our first half performance wasn't wasn't as good as I would expect it, but the second half performance, performance-wise, was very very good. We created loads of chances. We just didn't take we just didn't take them through goalkeeper being really really good on the night and some some wastefulness in front of goal. We started really well, but we probably could have had two goals in the first 15 minutes. And then the pendulum kind of swung in their favour, and they probably finished the stronger in the half and and got that goal. Yeah, it was a game that. It did swing like that. I thought, thought 20 minutes, 20 minutes we were very good. For another 20 minutes, I thought we were we struggled with the game. Um, you know, they overloaded a little bit in the wide areas and put loads of balls in the air box, and and we didn't we didn't really deal with it. Albeit, you know, one goal at half time. Um, I don't think they created many chances outside of outside of that. Um, we probably should have dealt better with the the cross ball, but. We had a chat with them at half time and I thought we were a completely different team in the second half. And you made a triple substitution at half time, which is not always what you do, but were you forced mm. into that? What were your thoughts on, on those? Well, there's a, there's a couple of reasons. One is the, the both, both two lads were on yellow cards and I thought the way the game was going, the referee was, was quite, you know, was dishing out quite a few yellow cards and I was just worried that, that one of them would have got a red in the second half. So we decided to to change them. We've got really good competition within the team. Um, so we changed, changed those two boys and, and, and Owen McConville was struggling with a bit of an injury so we were able to, to take him out and, and bring Kevin McGuinness on at, at right full back which was, was also an attacking, an attacking, attacking substitution because I, I wanted to go and try and win the game. Well, it seemed to work and it seemed to give them a bit of a jolt. Um, we were awarded a penalty. Darius, unfortunately, just put it wide, mm -hmm. but he made up for that with, with the goal. Yeah, he, he, look, he, he took responsibility um, and he, he was willing to take a second penalty as well. Um, he's a goal scorer, stepped up, and, you know, we probably, we probably were a wee bit wasteful in front of goal and, and, and probably had six, seven really good chances that, that, we, that we should have put away before, before the end. Darius was player of the match and what nerves that he had to, to stand up and take another penalty after missing one. That's not easy to do but he did and he, he slotted it away. Yeah, he's, he's got character, there's no doubt about that and, and, and he, he's not the, the only one. Uh, it's a changing room full of them, they're young men um, but the changing room's full of good characters because, you know, at, at 1-0 probably when I first came in, I think I think it would have been game over. I think Darkview would have, would have just slowed the whole thing down, we'd have allowed them to do it. I think tonight we just we just said no. We're not we're not going to let them dictate the pace of the game. And I think I think they struggled with us in the second half badly. And they'll be delighted to get out of here with a point. Yeah, their view they're very physical and they're all tall defenders mm -hmm. at the back. Um, and unfortunately, we just yeah they just got that goal at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean listen, they're fighting for lives and they've got a new manager watching them and, and all credit to them. They came came away from home and got a got a point, but. It was a fortuitous point. Let's let's face it. If you look at the balance of play, we created way too way more chances. And and as I say, but for a really good goalkeeper on the night, uh, good goalkeeping performance, and and some some poor poor finishing, uh, we'd have probably won the game handily. There were some lovely passes you play from us. Is that what you've been working on in the training ground? And. Are you seeing that now come into fruition in, in the games? Yeah, we're, we're, a good, we're a good team for the good, good players and I actually think that four or five of our creative players probably weren't, weren't as good tonight as they normally are but we still, we still boss the game and we still are a threat to any team when we play like that and that's, that's because we work hard on the training pitch and that's because the, the, the players all buy into the way we want to play and, and, and I, think, I think you know tonight is disappointing but I think Players are enjoying playing playing in this team because they get to they get to express themselves and, 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 and try to win football matches rather than just hope to see it out. And we're still unbeaten at home, of course, which is good that we have that consistency. Um, away to Ballon the Mallard next Saturday, which is always a tough journey down there, but we're taking good form into that game. Yeah, I, I, have, no, I have no problem with it. As I say, we'll get back on the training pitch this week and, and we'll try and 
we'll try and just just keep working on the things that we we do well and try to try to eradicate a few a few things that we don't do so well and and, and go to Balna Mallard next week and and just just try and try and get three points like we normally do. Stephen, thank you. Well done. Thank you.